हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम नील रेहानी ए के द क्रेजी कोडर एंड लेट मी गिव यू प्रिव्यू एंड ब्रीफ एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑन वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू डू इन दिस वीडियो सो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट एच टी एम एल फाइव इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बी मेकिंग दैट एच टी एम एल फाइव डॉक्यूमेंट डिजाइंड एंड प्रोफेशनल यूजिंग सी एस एस थ्री बट टूडे विच इज गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एच टी एम एल फाइव सो एच टी एम एल फाइव हैड हैड वोजन एच टी एम एल वन टू थ्री एंड फोर वर पार्ट ऑफ एम एंड फुल फॉर्म ऑफ एच टी एम एल और एच टी एम एल स्टैंड फॉर हाइपर टेक्सट मार्कअप लैंग्वेज एच टी एम एल हाइपर टेक्सट मार्कअप लैंग्वेज सो विच इज गोइंग टू बी एडिंग प्लेन टेक्सट टूडे एंड आफ्टर दैट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी गोइंग टू बी मेकिंग आर टेक्सट प्रोफेशनल यूजिंग सी एस एस थ्री Let me give you a preview of how it would look like. It's this. Yes, it's this. My blog. Yes, it's all about coding. What is my blog actually about? I've created this blog for my subscribers and viewers to know what I'm up to, so they can relate and think about the upcoming video. I'm really sorry that the spelling of and is wrong, but we're going to be making it correct when we do it. The hobbies. My hobbies. My hobbies are coding, reading, and technology. And about me, hey world, I'm Neil Rahani, aka the Crazy Coder. I wrote the Whitehead Junior program for kids coding. I'm discontinuing and hence starting textual JavaScript on MSVS Code. Please share my channel to your family and friends for them to watch my videos and subscribe my channel. This thing I'm going to use for my website, but you all have to change it, obviously. This is my contact information. So let's get started with the video. We're going to be doing it on Notepad plus plus. You can always use MSVS Code, but I would recommend Notepad plus plus because it's the easiest one. It's the most easiest to just like organize and all. So you wanna add a new file from here. You would know that from MSVS Code. If you have not seen my Java uh, script tutorials, then you should use Notepad plus plus instead of MSVS Code. So over here, guys, we want to rename it, and we want to rename it to my first site, and click on OK. Now you want to go to File, and you want to click on Save As, so that you want to save, so that you could save it. But before saving it, you want to do one thing: convert it in, into a HTML document. How do you do that? Is really simple. After renaming it, you want to go to this language tabs, and inside this H, you would get HTML hyper text markup language. So over here, you have this HTML. You should have this hyper text markup language file at the last. The length zero, lines one. So let's get started. Now you wanna go to file and now you wanna save it as my first site. Let's save it. I want to yes, and this is it. So now that was one website created by me, one Notepad plus plus document created by me that I really don't want, and that's why. So there is just one thing about Notepad plus plus. You can even record whatever you are doing. That's also one thing. But I need Chrome also. That's why I'm not recording Notepad plus plus. Let's get started with the video. Right over there. My first site dot html. Now you wanna always start your html document or code. Sorry, with this doc type. H T M L like that, and then yes, and then you wanna add a header tag. So basically, there are just three types of tag. There are three parts of a tag: opening tag, content inside it, and the closing tag. Okay. Now inside this head. Tag, not header. Header we're going to be using after some time. We want it to be head, and inside that head you wanna add this title tag. If you have seen my JavaScript tutorials, then there would be this thing set up as doc 
document and we used to change it to some appropriate name so let's give it the name of first site if you have not seen my javascript videos please see them the link is in the description so over here in my first site you now you have added the head tag now you want to add the body tag body tag is also necessary inside it so let's add a body tag right over here and body tag and tag and start tag and inside this body tag and before starting everything you want to add this tag html tag this is all the content about your coding okay so now you want to close the html tag and then head contains the information about the body that means our website and the body is the content content not the whole content but some content html is the whole website the head the body the css everything so let's get started over here guys inside this body tag right over here you want to create one header tag a header tag is like the heading of a website it's really a simple explanation header header don't get confused between head and header tags they are not the same remember header is the heading and head tag is the information about body so let's start now you want to add an h2 tag or h1 tag what is an h1 tag it's like headings so h1 is the largest then comes h2 so h1 through h6 you can also fiddle with them but i just want to go straight inside the video so without any further ado let's get started with some more coding so over here inside this header tag what you want to write is just one text so you don't want to add some enters inside it that's not appropriate it's like you want to add my blog cause my website is going to be something like a blog no blog posts but no blog posts but something about me my hobbies and contacting me and how to stay in touch with me so now an h2 tag over here and then you can add the tagline or anything else that you want so i'm going to write just code like that now this is going to be the end of our header tag let's open this inside chrome so control o and then you want to open it up my first site my blog just code yes now you want to go to notepad plus plus again or msvs code if you're using it and add this section tag it's something like a brief thing brief explanation about your website or anything so inside the section tag you want to add some enters and over here you want to write an h2 tag or you can change it but i would recommend it h2 inside this you want to write why what was the reason what was the reason of me creating this uh, blog and then you want to add a p tag right over here yes p and p so this p tag is paragraph so this would be a bolder and it would be something like an h6 or h5 tag so there would be no bold like over here inside a chrome there is something bold it there would be no bold light over here so let's go to notepad plus plus over here and write one thing over here inside a p tag you want to write anything that you want to i'm just going to write i created this blog for my subscribers sub subscribers and viewers to be 
known or let's try it. I created this work for my subscribers and viewers so that they know what am I up to and what am I doing for our next and upcoming video on YouTube. Now, guys, one thing that you have no uh, that you would have been noticing is that when you write something bigger, then there would be this slider coming. So, if you don't need the slider, then you can do one thing because it's really difficult to just slide and see whatever you've written. Go to View and click on Word Wrap. So after a certain point, the words just go inside the next line. So now this is going to be the end of our section tag. Let's save it. Go to Chrome and see how is it looking. My blog, just good. What was the reason of me creating this blog? I created this blog for my subscribers and viewers so that they know what I'm up to and what am I doing for our next and upcoming video on YouTube. Okay, let's go to Notepad again and or MSVS code. I'm I'm just going to say notepad because it's really difficult to say notepad and MS or MSVS code. So now we're going to be adding article tag. It's the main content of a blog if you're creating it or any other thing. So inside this article tag, I'm going to write this H2 tag right over here. And I'm going to write my hobbies. So guys over here, I'm going to add a P tag now. Now, nice P P. So, guys, I could have added a bullet instead of a sentence. But, guys, when we would create our website like this, then the bullets would be over here, and uh, the the text inside bullet would be over here in the middle. And when we make this in the middle. And then create this right over here then also it would look very odd but at the end of the video if you want to know then I'm going to be adding some extra time and then telling you all how can you add a list or a bullets inside of HTML but for now we're going to be adding it as a p tag my hobbies are reading coding and technology 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 so guys now one thing i wanted to tell you guys is dummy text so you will have many time notice that when you create some powerpoint presentations or there when you add some other you know some pre-made presentations over there you would have noticed something like lorem ipsum that is dummy text it has no meaning it's a latin i think it's in latin i don't know that much but my guess is latin so it's dummy text we use it when we don't want to write a text or it's just something like test and somebody else has to change it so we're not going to be using dummy text or else you'll get confused but i'm just telling you guys in case just in case so my hobbies are reading coding and technology over here inside this article tag this is going to be the end of first article tag i'm going to add two more so that makes three article tags so inside Chrome browser, you would see my hobbies. My hobbies are reading, coding and technology, simply. And then inside Notepad, you want to add one more article tag. One more tip, guys, that I'm going to give you. Over here. This thing. You want to just copy paste that if you are almost using the same content, same tags, but just you want to replace the content because then it would save a lot of time too. And you don't want to write the whole thing again. You will not want to write it. So let's just like 
get rid of everything and you want to write about me and then over here you can just write something about you or anything else i'm just going to copy paste this hey world i'm nil rahani i read it out to you so no need again and then again you can copy paste this article tag here and then here like this and then you want to write my hobbies are what are my hobbies so this we wrote over here so we don't want to write it again you want to write stay in touch with me and then over here you can write how can you stay in touch with me you can contact me and then inside bracket you want to write every you want to write contact info in the footer okay so it would be inside the footer the contact information so that's why i'm writing you can it's like i'm creating it for some other thing you are if you are creating it for some other thing not a blog then it's your choice you can change this contact info in footer in the footer and then over here you can contact me or subscribe the crazy coder and like all my videos so this is for you all you can contact me at rehani neel 1409 at gmail.com and like all my videos and subscribe my channel so now let's see how it's looking like in chrome reload this page and it's looking nice it's looking nice about me already read it stay in touch with me you can contact me contact info, uh, info in the footer or subscribe the uh, subscribe the crazy coder and like all my videos now now you can just let's end this video by adding a footer tag just kidding you're going to do that oh i'm really sorry let's get started over here inside this footer tag what you want to do inside this footer tag is very simple inside this footer tag you can just close the tag first of all and then after inside this footer tag you can write something about you so i'm going to add an h4 tag or i'm going to add a h4 tag yes and then close that h4 and then inside this h4 tag you want to write one thing contact me rehani neo1409 at gmail.com and then over here you can add an h5 tag which i'm going to do h5 h5 and after this h5 you can write this thing inside h5 you can write thank you for taking out time to see my first website web log this okay now let's save it and see how is it looking like my blog just code what was the reason of me creating this blog i created this blog for my subscribers and viewers so that they know what am i up to and what am i doing for our next 
and upcoming video on YouTube. My hobbies, my hobbies are reading, coding, and technology. About me, hey world, I'm Neil Rahani, aka the Crazy Coder. I bought the White Arduino program for kids coding. I'm discontinuing and hence starting textual JavaScript on MSVS code. Please subscribe. Uh, please share and share my channel to your family and friends for them to watch my video and subscribe my channel. Stay in touch with me. You can contact me. Contact info in the footer or subscribe the crazy coder and like all my videos contact me thank you for taking out time to see my first website or web blog i'll see you guys in the next video just kidding we're going to do that if you don't want to see how we create how we create this bullets inside our website then you can just end this video and wait for the next css3 video coming or who wanna just let's start congratulations on creating your plain text website now we're going to be adding css and creating it amazing making it amazing now you want to add one more new yes over here and then over here you first of all want to change the language and then save it then save it as bullets yes and after that you want to add this doc type dot html obviously doc type html close and then after that guys one thing we're not going to add the header and body because we are just going to do one small thing so guys over here first of all you want to add a ul tag and close it and in between it you want to add some li tags list tags so let's see li li over here and inside this you want to write your first thing or the first text in your bullet so reading and then like that you can copy paste inside instead of reading you can write coding and then again instead of reading you can write anything that you want i'm going to write tech so now when you refresh your page after saving this control s and your web browser page over here wait a sec first of all let's open that bullet one over there so this is this html document see reading coding and technology so it's looking very bad because we did not add any headers or anything but you can use them in your websites i'll see you guys in the next video until then bye, -bye.